Hello everyone, Jose Gregorio here and today I'm reviewing this uh, small airplane with the pilot instructor David Duback. I'm using the medium mode and the GoPro Hero 8 with the ABX from Sennheiser uh, microphone system. Okay, okay we're ready. Channel everyone, Dave Dubeck, uh, CFI Dave Dubeck, and Charter Pilot. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, today we're going for a flight in the Grumman Tagger that you saw me uh, give an introduction to last video. It's a good day in New Jersey. We're going to go out for a quick flight um, to the uh, Jersey Shore area. And I'm going to show you what this airplane could do and why it's a great airplane to, to fly and a great airplane to own. So uh, we're strapped in. Let's get ready to get started. First things first, we're going to get our engine items taken care of. We're going to bring the mixture nozzle full forward. Uh, plane just flew. I took it around the pattern a couple times before the camera guy got here. So we're going to give it a little bit of gas with the throttle. And we're going to turn on the master switch. And I change the tanks from the right tank to the left tank. Okay. And I'm situating the brakes with my feet. And then we we'll get the fuel pump turned on. We we'll get our outside lights turned on. Look around. I just gave our other camera guy the signal so I don't run him over. Clear prop. I'm going to partially close this so we don't freeze ourselves to death. Not that it's cold out today, but it does get cool in here fast. So here we go. transmissions on the Unicom and let other pilots know that hey you know we're out about doing our thing in the area. So as I said this is an introduction to the Grumman video but I'm also making this kind of a what we do every day as pilots kind of video because I never got a video of me flying. <laughs> okay there's a guy landing called his base position. His base position means that he's parallel to the runway. So in the traffic pattern you have an upwind, that's where you take off, fly into the wind. By the way, airplanes always take off and land into the wind. Because they get the best performance value by doing so. Um, so we have an upwind where you take off and part into the wind. We have a crosswind where you or a cross from the crosswind run from the runway you just part of them. You have a downwind where the wind is right at your back. We have a base leg like that Cessna is over here. And he's about to turn final. We've lined up a runway. 
and that's all your legs and chuck pattern. So with taxiing here, I want to keep the aircraft's nose on top of that yellow stripe. And a good cue for that here is I can use the rivets on the cowling, but the lines beneath the rivets, I'm okay. Or I can use my knee, my right knee aligned with the yellow line. So I want to be as straight as possible because the taxiway center line is what keeps us safe from anything that could be parked on the grass here. That Cessna's coming in to land. Nice forward slip. That's about right. Every day here is intense at Oldbridge. <laughs> so the pole, here's the hold area. verify the fuel pump is back on so we have fuel flow to take off and most of plays have a pitch true mill you're probably not going to pick it up in the video it's situated between me and you on the garment you have to feel it out the Cessna you can actually see it and then let's check the controls make sure we need to all right know the wind we'll set the heading indicator for the compass for that next to rich then we're going to do the ignition check we're going to power up a little bit runs at idle the carburetor heat on and it does so that's our before takeoff checklist and surplus all right so then i have a little what i call a departure plan so close this that's closed in the unlikely event i suspect the problem is i'm rolling i'm just going to close the throttle stop the aircraft in the unlikely event that i'm going to have a suspect the problem after we break ground and get up and go in the air first got tree like an in-flight emergency so so we're going to take off and head up to the east our accelerate's about 60 knots, climbing around 80, um, and then we're going to cruise around 120-ish, around 2,500 feet, so um, you'll see a lot of cool things on the way out there, so, ready? Ready, cool. yeah, let's go. Hey, ready to go. All right, here we go, here we go, guys. Traffic, drum in, 4521 Charlie, depart 24, we're going to be an eastbound departure. Strapped in, I'm strapped in. I'm a strapped in. Good. I, yeah. That should be fine, right? You're yeah. good. Uh, have to be over my shoulder. We're good. Oh, you not, got your shoulder horns, okay. It's not on my shoulder, though. Okay, very cool. Oh, now I got it. Okay. There you go. By the way, you're not going to go flying for so. Right. Okay, that's it, that's it, that's it. Oh, yeah. Talking about the smaller spaces, this is one, right? Good. It's a good airplane now. You'll see. Yeah. All right, let's rock and roll. All right, here we go. Power's coming up.
line. The other big screw you see up there. Sorry about that. It's this thing called torque, where it wants to draw the airplane out to what you want it to do. We have a thing called Newton's Law in aviation. So every action is deep enough. So if you want to take off the airplane straight, the prop is going, the prop is making the aircraft move up.
landed uh, flying this uh, 1979 Drummond Tiger uh, airplane and actually it flies pretty good uh, for these uh, weather conditions of uh, probably uh, 10 to 15 miles an hour wind, right? I'd say it was about 18 on approach, right? 18? I was working a little bit coming in. It wasn't intense. I mean, I'm right, used yeah. to it. I could have used a slower speed. Oh, really? That's why we were floating a little. Yeah, but Turn the keys to the off position, then we get rid of the strobe lights. Beacon stays on, master comes off, keys always go on dash. So, there you have it. So, that's an introduction to what we do as pilots into this airplane. If you like what you see, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. Uh, feel free to leave any comments as to what more material you might want to see. So, thanks for flying. We'll see you Friday, Dave Duvac. Look forward to seeing you guys down the road. See you guys on my next video. Thank you for watching. Cheers.